Welcome freshmen to Pensacola High School. In the morning when you are dropped off, you can choose to either wait outside or you can go through the main lobby to the cafeteria to grab your free grab and go breakfast. New PHS bus ramp. When you arrive here in the morning, you will exit your bus and head to the cafeteria for your grab and go breakfast. You are not permitted in the building until after 8.20 a.m. unless you have a yellow pass given to you from a teacher. If it is raining, you will stand in the auditorium lobby. If your bus arrives to school late, you may still go grab your breakfast from the cafeteria, but hurry to class. Dean Machado will email your class teachers a list of which buses were late, but please also inform your teachers. This is the student parking lot. If you need to obtain a parking you can go to the SR. After you exit your car, head to the cafeteria. If it's raining outside, you can stay in the cafeteria or the auditorium. You cannot enter the building before 820 unless you have a yellow pass, and if you're tardy, you can go to this I've just walked through the main lobby and I'm now in the foyer of Pensacola High School. Right here to my right, we have rooms 16 through 26. And right here we have our administrative office with our school principal. To my left, I have rooms 1 through 16, one being at the very end of the building in our ROTC wing. To this side, we have our guidance office with all school guidance counselors and we have our deans. This is the guidance counselor's office. Each door is marked by a guidance counselor. Ms. Callaway provides support for 12th grade students and 10th grade students whose last names start with the letters A through J. Mr. Walker provides support for all 11th grade students and 10th grade students whose last names start with the letters K through Z. Ms. Skanga provides support for all traditional 9th grade students. Mr. Pham provides support for all traditional ELL students. Ms. Powers Crystal provides support for all pre-IB and IB students. She is located upstairs. If you need to make an appointment to see Assistant Principal Freeman or Assistant Principal Canales, speak with Ms. Pate at the front desk in the guidance office. Welcome to the Dean's office. In here you can find out all bus transportation information. If you're having any issues with what school bus you're riding or how to get to and from school, any of the Deans will be able to help you. Also, if you are sent to the Dean's office, they have lovely signs that show which last names go to which Dean. Every person has a Dean selected based on their last name. If you need a parking decal, you will come into here, into the Dean's office, and go into the SRO's office and talk with our SRO, Officer Green or Officer Kramer, and submit the correct paperwork and payment for a parking decal. To the left of our building on the first floor is our clinic. You are not allowed to come to the clinic if you do not have a pass. You also need to register any medicine or prescriptions with our clinic staff. This is room 4, which is also known as our yearbook room. This is where you will pick up your yearbooks and order them at the end of the year. At the end of our first floor, we have the ROTC wing. This is where ROTC classes and after school activities take place. I am currently in the center of the upstairs hallway between our two center staircases. To my left, we have room numbers 29 through 46. To my right, we have room numbers 47 through 65. This is the IV office. Through this door is Ms. Smith, yeah. She can get you in contact with the IV coordinator and Ms. Brewer. Down this hall from the IV office, you can find the two IV counselors, Ms. Powers Crispell and Ms. Alihio. This is our auditorium. This is where most in person concert and performances in the summer season. This is also where you can use the bathroom during lunch or stay when it's raining outside. Welcome to the Pensacola High School cafeteria. To your left, you have the free lunch line where you will pick up your grab and go lunch. Seating areas are socially distanced, but you can eat outside in the courtyard between the gym and cafeteria or in the courtyard at the picnic tables between the auditorium and cafeteria. You can also eat at standing tables outside of the cafeteria. Let's go to high school school gym. This is where you enter for your indoor PE classes. Right behind you is the auditorium 
and right here is our cafeteria. The gym is located directly behind our cafeteria. This is the media center and this is where you can check out books, print out assignments, and this is where you also find computer assistance. This is our outside building on the Pensacola High School campus. We refer to this building as the L building due to its shape. This building houses all of our art classrooms and our Law and Public Service Academy and our Medical Academy. On the right side of our campus, right by the Media Center, you have our science area. This houses all of our major science lab classroom. The first classroom of the science building is room 200. This is Ms. John's classroom and our SGA hub. This is where you can pick up an SGA application if you want to run for office. Right here across from the science classroom is our brick building on campus. This houses the photography classroom, the manufacturing classroom, and the head of our history department, Mr. Jeff. Here, PHS is issuing a be polite, stay to the right policy to comply with social distancing and keep our students safe. We have these lovely keep right markers as reminders throughout the halls. In order to reduce the spread of coronavirus, we are promoting a mask policy at our high school. What this means is that we uh, encourage students to wear a mask in all common areas where they possibly will not be able to social distance. This goes for hallways, stairwells, bathrooms, and common areas amongst the campus. For wearing a mask, we ask that you please place it over your face and nose and mouth. All incoming ninth grade students are receiving a planner on the first day of school this year. In order to be successful in your academic classes, we ask that you write all assignments and pending dates in your planner to remind yourselves of when you have tests and projects due. This will help you be successful in your academic life. If you are struggling in any classes or with any schoolwork, a great resource we have at our high school is our chapter of the National Honor Society. Our National Honor Society's main project is a tutoring project where every student who applies will be matched with a tutor. You can apply for a tutor on the website and you will be matched within the next week. A great resource in the school is this bulletin board where you can read how to join NHS and how to request for a tutor. At Pensacola High School, we have a cell phone policy in place. You may not use your cell phone in the classroom unless you are permitted by a teacher. You may use your cell phone in the cafeteria during your designated lunch period. At our school, we have a no earphones rule. You may not have earphones on campus or use them in the hallway. They will be taken by a teacher or faculty member. The reason for this is because if we have an active threat on campus and you have your earbuds in, you cannot hear the loudspeaker or instructions. Do not hide your cell phone behind a textbook or your schoolwork during class. You will receive a cell phone ticket from your teacher. Just put your phone away until designated times when you can use it. If you are planning to leave school for an emergency or a doctor's appointment, have your parent or legal guardian call the front office to physically check you out at the front of the school campus. While leaving, make sure you request an absence verification form from the front office. Your parent will need to fill this out after your appointment or absence and you will need to return it the following day in order to get your absence excused. You'll return to school the day following your absence and you have completed your absence verification form. Turn in your form here at the front office in the records department in order to have Ms. Parker excuse your absence. At the end of the school day, please leave campus promptly. Do not linger around campus once the school day is over. Leave by your appropriate mode of transportation.